I mean, what do you think is better, um, puppies or pyramids? Uh, puppies, definitely puppies. This is the Step Pyramid. This is the oldest stone structure on the entire planet. King Djoser had this built for him and his family. A lot of people will ask, how did the Egyptians build these amazing pyramids with such precision and they're perfect and they're just, I can't believe it. It had to be aliens, right? When you see this, the first pyramid, you look at it, it doesn't quite look like the Great Pyramids of Giza, although this is a Pyramid of Giza. And then when you look at the Bent Pyramid, you go, oh, okay, that's not quite a perfect pyramid. So the Egyptians, even though this is we're talking 3,000-ish BC, 5,000 years ago, they were just like any humans today. They perfected things through iterations, through refinements, through experimentation, and eventually got to the point where they built the Great Pyramid. This is the Bent Pyramid. So King Senefru had the stepped pyramid built, didn't like it. He said, you know what? I don't want it to be jagged. I want it smooth on the side. So they started building this one. The angles were way too steep. And if you look behind me, you can see how steep this pyramid was. And there's no way they were gonna make it to the top and have it support all this weight without toppling over. And now thousands of years later, if you look at the bottom, you can see that it's even crumbled at the bottom because it's just such a steep angle. The bent pyramid, just like the step pyramid, uh, King Senefru was not happy with it. So there was actually no one entombed inside of this pyramid. It's just, it's just here. And it's, it's wrong, it's built wrong. It's not according to plan. It's not, this pyramid is not up to code. That's why it's falling down. That's why it's important when you have new construction today to build it to code. So this is the red pyramid. This is the pyramid that King Senefu actually approved and said, I'll be buried in this one. Since he didn't like the step pyramid, said that design, looks crazy and then the bent pyramid just didn't go according to plan this is the first finalized pyramid where they had the angles correct and remember he was the father of khufu who had the great pyramid built if you look at the angles of the bent pyramid behind me you'll see if you were to follow the design of that pyramid up how tall it was going to be and how the physics of it just weren't going to work and how much massive amount of weight it have at the top and the likelihood that it's just going to topple over There's over 100 pyramids, but these three here are probably the most impressive. When you come here, it's really cool, and you don't think about it, that you're walking around this really complex cemetery for these pharaohs, and they are just truly impressive because they're, they're built perfectly, and they've stood the test of time. You know, they're 4, 000, over 4,000 years old, and they're bigger than the Luxor in Vegas because I looked it up. So Egyptologists from around the world have studied the pyramids, but especially the Great Pyramid, extensively, every angle, every measurement, every part of the facade, anything you can imagine, they've studied it. And they've come up with an average gap between the joints of these stones, half a millimeter. The Pharaoh Khufu literally had an army at his disposal to build the Great Pyramid. They estimate that it took between 10 and 20 years. So if you look at the least aggressive estimate of 20 years, there's over 2 million blocks here. That means when they did the math, that they'd have to put 12 blocks into place each hour, every day, all through the night to accomplish this in 20 years. So you can imagine how many people were working on these pyramids.
You know, when you're out here, you have to consider it looks like these awesome monuments and man-made stone structures, but you had to consider that you're actually walking around uh, a cemetery. It's just a cemetery. It's a very, very ornate, fancy cemetery that's been around longer than pretty much anything.